So here is another question, folks. So determine the tenth term from the end of the AP four nine fourteen two fifty four. Okay. So what do we need to find out? T tenth term from the end. So we don't know what is you know. So tenth term from the end. Tenth term from the end. So there are two ways of doing it. Either you know what is the tenth term from the end. So that will be a longer method maybe and uh, you do it from the end itself so hence we know the formula nth term nth term from end is simply t last last term minus n minus 1 times d where d is common difference d is we had derived this in the theory portion, right? D is common difference. Common difference. So the formula is T last, last term minus N minus 1 times D. What is last term? 2, 5, 4. What is N 10 minus 1 into D? D is in this case is, if you see 9 minus 4 is D. Consecutive term difference is D. So what is the D value? 5, right? So it is nothing but 254 minus 9 times 5, which is 254 minus 45, which is 209. Right? So this will be the 10th term from last. You could have solved this in a different way, in one, one more method. How? So 10th term from the end. So if you see, First of all, find out how many terms are there. So n, let's find out total number of terms in the sequence. Number of terms. Number of terms is equal to what? Right? So number of terms, how to find out? Let's say 254 is the last term. T1 is 4 plus let's say m is the number of terms in the AP. So m minus 1 into 5. Okay, last term is n first term plus m minus 1 times d. This is what? So this is 250 divided by 5 is m minus 1. Correct. So 50 is equal to m minus 1. So m is equal to 51. So there are 51 terms in the in the given sequence. Correct. Now, first term from the end is the last term. Correct. First term from end is t51 first term from the beginning last term la first term from end is the last term from beginning right now second term from end will be t51 minus 1 that is t50 okay so you can just note here when this is second here it is 1 okay so third term similarly third term from end is t 51 minus 2. This is the trend. So I'm not going to write down all those till 10 terms. So you quickly can observe that 10th term, 10th term from end will be simply t 51 minus 9, right? One less than whatever is appearing here, correct? No, so which is nothing but t 42. So the 42nd term from the beginning is the 10th term from the end. So can't we find out t 42? Yes, we can. t 42 is t 1 plus 41 or let me write like that 42 minus 1 n minus 1 that is into d 5 let's deploy the values t1 was how much t1 was 4 and then it is 41 into 5 so if you see this is 4 plus 205 which is 209 so both ways you can find out the nth term from the end okay so there are two ways of finding or solving this particular problem.